inches and three inches in diameter. And uh, what we're going to do is add a little weight at a time to, to a center point and uh, see how much weight it takes to break. It's been we got 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Alright, as you can see, the beam withstands 10 pounds. Yeah. Alright, now we've, uh, we've added 10 pounds to our weight and we're going to try it again, see, see if we get any reaction. Alright, as you can see, it's doing nothing. Go. Alright, uh, we've added uh, the 20 pounds, didn't break it, so we've added 15 pounds this time, so it makes us a total of uh, 35 pounds. And it's touching the ground, so. <laughs> Is it? No, Go. All right, we've added 15 more. We've got a total of 50 pounds. Let's see if this does anything. Alright, there we go. 50 pounds. Beam did not withstand. Alright, now we switched beams. We had 50 pounds that broke our beam that wasn't reinforced. Now we're switching beams. This one is reinforced. We have two uh, wires that are cut about. See, it's, it withstands the 35 pounds. Okay. Alright, now we put uh, 15 more pounds on to make it an even 50. And uh, this is the amount of uh, weight that broke our first beam that was not reinforced. So if, uh, if our reinforced beam holds us 50 pounds, then. As you can see, it holds in positive bending moment. And now we're, we're we put 15 to make it 65 pounds. We're going to see if this this will break it. As you can see, it pretty much cracked it, like we went over in class. But the, all the the tension force is on the uh, on the rebar inside, so it's not quite breaking in half but it's pretty much broke.